That is our other stream runner, by the way. Um, I don't know his social media, but you should guys should uh, go show him some love at some point. We're going into game one here on PS2. The Hawk versus Ling Ling. This has been a relative, uh, relatively common theme of a set. While Light has not been playing, we see this very often. Usually, Helka, Ling, and Hawk are on the top three. Zona was in thir uh, third place last week. Oh, yeah, because Hawk didn't play. That's right. Not to say that Zona couldn't have made it there, though. You never know. I don't take that away from anybody. Setting this off, though, very similar to how we're used to. And we will not be seeing the same patient play that we saw from Hawk in the last game. Um, and that's usually hard to transition from. Like, when you're playing and you just deal with a set where you had to play super passive, super patient, and then you go into another match where you have somebody who can hit you with one down tilt and you're at 80, that's a very difficult thing to adjust to. But he's been doing it very well. And that's a... That's a telltale sign of a very uh, of a growing player. Hawk forced at the ledge. Ling Ling trying to ledge trap him, keeping him there stuck. Just throwing out as many hitboxes as possible. Down smash that time is going to push him to the ledge. And he's going to close it out with the back air and take out the first stock. Again, this is, you know, now that Hawk gets to actually go in, hey, maybe he'll be using a little bit more uh, of that reflector, considering how much he had to use it in the last match. Um, and that's a good option against Turnip if you have it in the right spot. Trying to read potentially an air dodge bait or a float bait, but Ling, he realizes, like, look, this isn't true. That Nair isn't going to do anything, so I'm just going to back off. But he finally gets him to jump in against that back here. And only taking 2% too. Very good ground game and very solid defense to prevent himself from taking too much damage. And now he's the one putting on big damage here. 0 to 69%. Fading away, just throwing, just opt in the zone. That's a good option. Like when you when you're full screen, don't commit. Like you don't unless you feel like rushing somebody down. It doesn't hurt to to throw out those lasers just to establish a little bit of fear of approach. I like it. Just trying to potentially look for a spot dodge here, but Ling never gave it to him. Trying to force him back off stage. Ling Ling now looks like he's regaining his footing a little bit. Missed down smash again. Or, uh, not again, but missed that down smash and gave him an opening. But Hawk is not letting him get too much off of these whips. And that anti-air up smash is going to take out the second stock. And now Hawk reversing uh, the lead here. Again, Ling Ling is another person. Like I said, you know, once you see Ling go down, that, that, that means nothing. Like, he, he, he very quickly uh, solidifies stock as well. What's going and on, guys? I appreciate you. What's going on, Nobody Ajax? Nobody wanted to join me. And we got Pelko, who's waiting in Grand Finals oh, with a yeah. side coming over to to get some knowledge and downloads on what's going on here. Definitely, and on, you know, a very close match right now. Hawk with a slight advantage, but like you were saying, that means nothing against Ling Ling, to be honest. Yeah, you know, at the very start, Ling Ling, uh, he was kind of saucing him a little bit, and I think that was partially due to the the pace of play Hawk had to adjust to. He just felt, dealt with playing against the Tarot Bang for exactly, three games. Yeah. So you have to readjust to how fast Ling can play. But as soon as he did that, he's been doing a good job of really controlling the pace. Like, Ling hasn't been able to find the opening to seal the kill that he's looking for. Yeah, that's very true. And, you know, as we see right now... Swinging for the fences. Oh, I I don't agree with that because... That could have been the game for him right there because if Ling gets a string with this turnip... Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you stole the words right out of my mouth. One down tilt, especially with the turnip in hand, that can easily put him right back at 60 some yeah, odd percent. Yeah, just and like that. It's even right now, so... Yeah, and he gets the anti here and puts him at that. It's on the platform, nothing, okay. I am always I am a fan of Orton Orthodox, so I get why he did it. Like, hey, if he goes low, I right. kill him now. But now you have to play that much more afraid or respectful. Though, what a statement that would have been going into game two though. Yeah, get established early on, like, look, I am feeling myself so much. I'm not worried about your recovery. I'm going to kill you now. But again, Ooh, he's he, okay. He has to be very careful. That back air at the ledge yeah, can also kill Link, so Link needs to be very careful with his jumps over there. Good coverage on the turn up for his recovery right there for sure. And, you know, Ling's still struggling right now, like you said, to find that opening to get the kill. Yep. And more so, more so important for him right now, he can't get out of his corner. And that time he had an opportunity to reset, oh, and wow. instead opts to stay in on him and yeah. gets the anti-air up smash. I always very nice, very nice. pointed out the fact that Ling was the king of anti-air up smashes before, but Hawk has been doing a uh, he's been contesting for him for that exactly. lately. Um, Hawk, I don't count Light because Light uses up smash and combos. He uses it as a kill option. Out of shield. And he uses all that it out of stuff, shield. Right? It doesn't matter where it is. He's going to use it. But um, Ling is a big fan of when you start getting too jumpy. He will throw out those up exactly. smashes around you. And Hawk has been kind of doing that a lot lately. Very smart about it. I've noticed too, both of the up smash kills he got in that game at least, they were awareness that Ling wanted center stage at that point coming from the ledge. So, Yep, he wanted out. He wanted to move. And once you get people um, 
would you establish a little bit of fear? And like, hey, I have been keeping you in this corner. I know you want to reset. They tend to get a little bit antsy. And they want to approach you from the air. Yes. Yep. Now, very, Ling very is true. normally pretty good about revert, uh, baiting that, though. Like, he'll make you think that your opening is there. And then he'll fade back to get you to whip and big punishes right here. Exactly. Actually, he, that's a very uncharacteristic of Ling. Yeah, only get down to the nair. For sure. You would have expected a couple more nairs at least. but And he had the platform, too. So by the time he finished Ooh. the combo, he could have potentially carried him off stage. Yeah. That's very, uh, very unfortunate. You know, and Hawk saying, that's fine by me. If you're not going to get your combos, I will. Taking the lead right now, lapping by 50%. Yeah, you got to cancel. I just got to follow where you go. And uh, you take that every single time. He's not connecting with these spheres either, but he is doing a good See, anti airing him a lot more now, even in backup. You know, and a very scary counter pick, in my opinion. Battlefield, very good for Wolf as well. Mm -hmm. I always, whenever I say Ling go here and people question it, it's pure, purely because Ling is... A, a monster on a stage, like it's a huge comfort pick, but I agree with you. Like, just the fact that Hawk is able to track him more and get extended combos, it's kind of working in his detriment. Good Ooh, usage nice of his jump, recovery. didn't jump too exactly. early. You know, and he buffered that air dodge immediately, so that was very good, saving his second jump. And he's gotten more consistent with his angles that he takes that up B2. Ling Ooh. reading, uh, actually, not even so much reading, like he kind of reacted yeah, to he that. He reacted like, to that. If he was getting up, he was getting hit too, so. <laughs> yeah, that is a very scary spot. Like, outside of get up attack, and even so, like you have, you just have to hope Ling didn't move in too early. That was a good coverage from Ling to be able to get that kill there. And again, you know, no matter what, whenever you look at this percent, you always need to be worried that it could be evened up in a second. It's very scary. A zero percent facing Ling. Oh my goodness! Yes, here it comes. Here and he reciprocates it immediately. Zero, zero to seventy-nine percent. Yeah. Finally gets a trade there. Hey, there's light. I was looking for you for a while. Uh, down okay. smash is going to force him back off stage. Going to shield that for sure. Good stuff. Aggressive side B going to get punished. I like the fact that he decided to go for a dare there instead oh, too. Oh, wow. Oh, he still has is his jump. He's going to make yeah. it back. Yeah. Wow, I didn't think he had the jump. But um, on that point of the dare, there was a situation where most people go for a grab or they'll try to get a hit. Staying on ledge Good too awareness. long. Perfect awareness from Hawk. Yep. That happens a lot. Like You're like, all right. I'm going to be comfortable here, but yeah. there's less inv uh, invincibility time. You have to be uh, exactly. very respectful of that. And if you roll, he was dead anyways. Yeah. Like, he was a high percent. To be fair, you know Ling was probably thinking, I'm going to jump back on stage or something. So A, a majority of the time in that situation right there, a jump fair is inbound. Mm -hmm. And uh, that could have put Hawk coast to coast and eventually an edge guard. But. Very true. Good stuff from Hawk right now, though, getting the extra credit he needs. Trying to take this to a game three, being up 2-0, that would be very nice for him. Yeah, that'd be huge for him right now. I know that... Um, Historically, and like they've been getting, they've been really close and so far. It gets the anterior on the, um, yeah, very nice the side B, here. very smart. Uh, but he hasn't really been able to seal it out against Ling. Like he hasn't gotten like that big tournament win victory right to take him over. Like I think he's beaten him in winners before. Okay. Yeah, he has. But Ling ran it back on him in grands later. Yeah, if he could take him out in losers right now, that would That's be so a much. Exactly. exactly. That's a much better confidence booster. I'm doing a good job though. Very very close game between these two. You see, like, Ling is playing the bait and punish game right now. He's trying to really, oh, he had, yeah, he, he had option coverage, but didn't pull the trigger. Still oh able to get him goodness. there and no jump coming nice in from laser Hawk. laser aggressive from that side B, keeping Hawk off stage right there. And oh, he that's a bad be spot. dead, yep. yeah, exactly. Yeah, the moment he was forced to have to go low, that digs below stage, if he traded at all, doesn't matter, Hawk was dead. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, Wolf, a very powerful character, but his disadvantage stay very vulnerable to things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see Link take that game too. Very smart play. Something I always preach a lot with this game in particular, and it's, you're actually a, a huge example to this, is uh, people need to learn where acceptable damage is. Like taking trades in the right place, Snake lives off of that. Yes. That's, that's his whole game plan, especially <laughs> in the Peach matchup. Like you want those trades in a lot of situations because it invalidates float. Very true. Um, so once you deal with the fact that if you can trade with that side B, you're not going to die. Mm -hmm. He's going to die. Yeah. Sure, you take maybe 30% but you're on the other side of the stage while he's dying. Like you, you, and Ling knew that. So Very true. And it's just in general in that matchup, you know, it's not uncommon for Snake to be living around like 160, mm -hmm. 170, and then each dying at 100. Exactly. So. Like as long as I get you to your kill percent, you're most likely not going to kill me unless exactly. you get the... Uh, uh, the edge guard read like that that's that's where peach does well in that matchup peach doesn't want to trade and yeah. not, and wolf doesn't want to trade a lot sometimes but in those situations peach will take that trade every time
Very much so. And you know, going into game three here between these two. That was on PS2 they picked, right? PS2? Was it? PS2? I believe it was PS2. Yeah, okay. okay. Keeping it neutral, I respect that. Yeah, a pretty good stage for both of them. I think personally um, that this stage benefits a little bit more for Wolf. Uh, just because of the fact that Wolf can play, uh, he, Wolf can reset the game a lot here. And also, yes. Wolf is one of the few characters that no matter where he is on this stage, he has a neutral option. He has the laser, he has the ability to answer your you if you try to come in from the platforms. Very easy with his nares. Uh, but Peach also gets great extended combos. Yeah, she keeps the pressure going for sure, especially when you're underneath her on those platforms. And very even, this whole set so far has been very back to back. I like, you see, we're seeing a little bit more of like the, the turn. <laughs> Not, not to not to play pun intended here, but he's turning it up a little bit. Uh, turning it up, yeah. He, turn nipping it up. Doesn't matter though, because he gets caught in the back. Air. He's been yeah, reading he's been solid jumps. with those back airs. He's been reading jumps with back air all day. Like that's been where I'm, a lot of his mileage has been coming in. He's been catching people going too high, especially against Zona earlier. Now uh, Lingling on the other end of it gets caught that time though with the yeah. fourth smash again. Gonna take that golf club to the face. You know, it's still zero zero. Anybody's game here. Link's bad. His caddy disappeared. <laughs> I uh, tried to get the fall down there, but he already had the up tilt ready for him. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Th Some th damage there. Couldn't quite extend it, though, more from that platform. That's where a majority of Wolf's damage comes from. It's it's bad trades from the other player, thinking they could beat out Wolf. Exactly. Frank Wolf is just too good on that with his aerials. They're very quick. His aerials, his ground game, uh, being able to tech chase. But Ling is also very solid at making sure he gets max damage. He's a little bit too Ooh. far away for the forward smash. Yeah, in my opinion... Um, Hawk did get that early lead, but he got a little antsy, and he just kept going in, so Ling was able to bring that back very close. And you see right there, it looked like Ling was actually baiting out the, the aggressive option there, just faded a little bit away, baiting out the float so he can actually push him off. Mm -hmm. Questionable side B, didn't take too much damage from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this matchup in particular, you only want to go for those side Bs when it's a true option. Exactly. Because Peach can punish you so hard. from, And also just allowing Peach to reset, force you to the ledge like he's uh, doing right now. Yeah, it's very scary. It's constant pressure in the air and on the ground. You're not too sure what Peach is going to do or where she's going to be. But right there, a back air is Forcing not going to be the stock. Yeah, he forced him to go low, but he took the proper route so he could avoid it. And then what's the get up option? He catches him with the nair. Luckily, nice he went snap. to the other side. Ooh, that turned up almost a snipe. Oh, he actually couldn't seal it out because he had to turn up in hand and he was able to cancel into the Nair instead. Nice blow cancel, just, you know, seeing what Hawk's option is going to be. That dash attack will take the second stock. I'm actually pretty intrigued by the fact that that even traded. Like, yeah. <laughs> it looked like the startup of gun was there and it should have stopped it, but it didn't. And that's unfortunate for Hawk, but yeah, now he's got the ledge shop option again. Good F till not going to take the stock, though. And oh, I, I was going to say down smash, but he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Good patience there. Again, that you know, both of them very proactive with up smashes out of shield. Yeah, such a bad situation for Hawk. I feel like Ling thrives in this position as well. Agreed. Ling thrives when you feel like you have to open him up. Exactly. Like at the moment that it it becomes a game of cat and mouse, Ling is so much better at retreating and baiting you to come to him with uh, the quick flow cancels. But then again, like I see right there, he floated just enough. Just like, all right, what are you looking for? So I know not to do that next exactly. time. Exactly. Very smart play by Ling. And, you know, taking this last stock on Hawk by Storm right now. Back here. Oh, wow. Ooh, he was committed yeah. to not doing it. I was definitely, like, the jump was coming. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure most of us saw that jump coming, and he never difficult. did it. At this point, if you're not getting throw kill, you have to be throwing out hitboxes yeah. one way or another. I think he's, I think Hawk, but ooh, oh, wow. all right. Catches him slipping a little bit with that side B, but then again, Ling definitely had that toad out yeah, ready for that, that side B. that was questionable. That yeah. toad usually lingers. Yeah, like, all right, getting him with the back air that yeah. time, going to go up 2-1. Nice little JV2 right there for Ling. Hey, you see, yeah, you see, you see lose, uh, losers run mode Ling. He's got the face on. Like, whenever Ling yes, is in serious mode, he's in the zone like for he, sure. It's like, hey, so we're, that was good, right? It's like, yep. Peace out, guys. I'm going to throw something at you. <laughs> you guys didn't know it, but hindsight was on the side of us, like, while we're trying to cast. And he's just coming, he's like, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Drive me nuts. <laughs> Uh, so going into this next game here, what do you think Hawk needs to do to like adjust he off of what to, he was um, doing to him? Slow it down when he has the lead. He likes to keep going aggressive even when he like 0 to 80s Ling. He still feels the need to go aggressive. I feel like if he slows down on that, maybe a little bit more laser camping. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion though. 
We'll uh, I, see how he takes it. I actually completely agree with that too because um, getting over committal against Peaches in general, like it's not just Ling that does it. Like when you'll see all of the top cal uh, caliber Peaches, mm -hmm. they'll constantly just float in away from you just to bait and goad out in a reaction from you. When you're getting way too overextended, like on combos that are not real, exactly. you will lose. You that's, will. You that's will. how they maximize their damage. They just squeak in on that slip up and then it's reversal right there. Mm -hmm. Their cash out is normally way better. But on this stage, Town and City. Yeah, he's right. gonna get he's gonna be getting good extended combos uh again. And he's doing a good job of slow trades, but yeah, Ling also has that same opportunity, being able to float just exactly. directly under the platform there. You and extend some uh, ledge trap combos. Well, not ledge traps, um, tech chase combos. I respect the choice. Um, instead of going like FD or Kalos, you know, giving himself the platforms too that he needs, he probably feels more comfortable with them. Even though Ling is very good with platforms as well, Wolf just does equally as well. And he also occasionally gets this situation here. I think that the FD situation benefits Ling a little bit more, but if he chooses to, this is where you'd want to zone out. Like, this is where you want to start throwing out your lasers. Except exactly. Ling's not giving it to him. <laughs> Oh, we're trying to go for that hard read with that LP. Not quite. Going to back throw him off stage. Good stage control. And Not good DI from Link to, the, exactly. to go straight to the corner and potentially give himself a live a little longer. Back here, like you said, every time. And I think it's been the first stock every game. Yep. <laughs> He's, he has been headhunting for those jump reads. Uh, and the fact that he hasn't consistently been doing that past first to second stock, it's kinda, I think it's kind of a crime to himself. Exactly. It's like if people are giving you those jumps, it's very keep true. punishing it. Keep punishing it, yeah. It's free hits right there. Doing a good job, though. Let's see how long Hawk can extend this lead for. That whole situation was Link just fading in, fading out, and waiting for him to land on top of him. So he could get the anti here. Nice turn up. That was... I like it because throwing up that turn up usually baits out a Ooh. jump out of people, but he didn't get it. That down smash... Ooh! Ooh trying to dig for He's the downer. I like the marbles, it. Right? I like it, too. That was great. Hey, if you if you get that trade, like eh, that's that's all yeah. gravy for you because that would have killed early. <laughs> Dang. Did he just come? What's, no, that wasn't he, a cut. He saw the jump though, and then oh, okay. he, yeah, that was <laughs> like good, like that was who good. neutral beast beside me? Sad. Unfortunately for him, it didn't kill, but right. ended up leading his to his uh, demise afterwards. You know, right. I hate to say it though, too. I mean, Hawk, one of those players, usually when that happens right here, this is a turning point where Link can bring this back immediately. Agreed, yeah, he's getting the throw right there. He was looking for the jump read as well, but very smart going aggressive for Hawk there. Ooh, he gets that up smash on the second time around. Very nice. Yep. Little taunts. Yep, trying to feel himself right now. You need to, like, you gotta turn it, you have yeah, to exactly. turn it up. Like, you know, <laughs> you're on your tournament game right now, you need to do something. Link trying to catch a potential and should get up on the ledge. Baiting all the platform one. in the way, but oh, actually. Third? Oh, he went for it too. <laughs> I like the idea there. He hasn't gone for that all set. Like, it finally trying to read a neutral getup with that up smash, but Hawk was already prepared for it. Very comfy lead, too. Good stuff from Hawk. And he can take another hit. He's not going to die from Link Dust quite right now. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks like he's, yes, he's committed to using a lot more of these back airs now. It's like, you know what? Peach is kind of soft. She's a little bit light. And uh, if I can get Peach at the ledge, mm -hmm. he's going to die right now. Oh, yeah. Good back air. Very close to doing it. Not quite, though. Option, all right, just waited for him to come in, uh, but he still makes it back. Yeah. This is very huge for Ling, and he had the right idea to throw out that side B. He's up a stock, so you know, with this much rage, too, I wouldn't be surprised if a dash attack killed Ling. I think so, too, actually, especially now, like right now, it yeah. should kill, or maybe even an up tilt. But yeah. he gets the cross up in there, and that's gonna be there. finally uh, nice. the stock coming off. Goes for it, anyways. Oh, gonna take that Nair to a turn up to another. Oh, my, oh my god. god. Yo, that was optimal. Yeet oh, he smash? gets to go low, Yeet too. smash, are you seeing this? Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. I have to play this, man? I don't think I you want gotta to. You got to go deal with that. I don't think I want to. Remember, what did we say before? Whenever you think that it's over, whenever you think that it, it might be possibly done against Ling Ling, because oh. of how quickly he can rack up that damage. My head, bro, my head. Now you got nothing that you could possibly say that you could save no, you from what no. just happened. I, I got messed up. <laughs> I don't think neutral beach should have hit, but I got destroyed. So I, I got absolutely, I got clipped. I'm behind. Um, that's my.